watching Let's Chat. Music fans, you don't want to miss the next couple of blocks here on Let's Chat, especially if you are a country music fan, because our next guest has helped forge the careers of music people going back decades. Again, they call him the mayor of Music Row. My pleasure to introduce to you my friend, Charlie Mock. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, sir. I can hear you loud and clear. Hey, uh, okay. first of all, I hope you and the entire Mock family have a very Merry Christmas. I want to go back a few years. Tell us how you got the name the Mayor of Music Row. I'm obviously uh, over 50 years on, on, on Music Row. And a, a guy did a magazine story on me many years ago uh it was called country weekly it was one of those magazines that was in the grocery store and he said he knows everybody in the music business he must be the mayor of music row so it was disseminated to the music business so a few guys and gals started picking it up and i would go someplace and they would say things degrading things like he thinks he's the mayor of music <laughs> row or yada 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 so Ultimately, I started doing a, a radio show, and I thought, yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll just refer to myself as the mayor of Music Row. So I kept doing it long enough that now I go to parties, and they welcome me as a, a mayor of Music Row, and I get free drinks. <laughs> and you were still <laughs> doing a radio show on Sirius XM. Charlie is the host of, and he's on the air from 6 until 10 every weekday, and he is the host on Willie's Roadhouse. So. You and Willie Nelson obviously have a history together, and we won't go into a whole lot of detail on that. I start saying, I ain't mentioning that, but go ahead. <laughs> no, I certainly will. Uh, so <laughs> on kind of an offshoot, what's it like to work for a guy like Willie Nelson? Well, you know, we don't really spend a lot of direct contact uh, with Willie because uh, Willie is 86 years old and still works every day if he can. Of course, uh, the pandemic has kind of screwed that up, but uh, he probably is the oldest nightly entertainer on the road. I mean, he's, he's a tour guy. He, uh, he, he works, he writes songs, he writes books. He's probably the big, busiest people in showbiz. But anyway, uh, having known Willie over the years, um, I have to find him to be one of the most charismatic people. Uh, he, he's, he is authentic, and that's a new, that's my use of an old word because people often ask me how, you know, do I suspect people might be entertaining and become world famous? And it dawned on me one day uh, that the people that have become really famous and entertaining are, are really authentic. In other words, what you see is what you get with Willie Nelson with trigger his guitar with a hole in it and all uh and and you know that he not only is writes songs for himself but he records songs he doesn't write but he writes songs for other people right and he's a he's a cl almost a classically trained jazz uh musician a lot of people uh, don't know that about willie he does have a a big affection for the jazz music genre which i didn't know until several years ago well, he actually sings on the backbeat. He, he, he really, uh, a, a great guitarist once by the name of Django Reinhardt uh, was kind of his idol. Uh, and so he, he kind of practiced those, those jazz licks. But again, he was authentic because he was a country disc jockey early on. Mm -hmm. uh, then, of course, he, he was around like I was when rock and roll kind of got started. So we, we, we became you know, rock and roll disc jockeys. But people forget sometimes that rock and roll is really jerry lee and carl perkins and johnny cash and uh elvis and these guys were just country boys that sang loud which and played loud you knew all of those guys too and you were um you were there pretty much every step of the way um i want to ask you something we've only got we've only yeah. got about 60 seconds left in this particular segment but i wanted mm -hmm. to ask you looking back over the year 2020 as screwy as it's been who do you think's had an outstanding year in country music? Dolly Parton, without doubt. The most famous, probably the most famous person in America today, and she's had an unusually successful year 
this year, and she's been doing it a very, very long time. Uh, probably on the contemporary scene, a young man by the name of Luke Combs probably has had the biggest year. And any names maybe we need to look out for next year? Well, uh, <laughs> well it kind of puts me in a <laughs> – it means I'm guessing, you know. But uh, Prognosticating, uh, no, Charlie. I, uh, You're well, prognosticating. Yeah, I really am. Well, but they're uh, – damn, you did put me on the spot there because <laughs> uh, the, there's, a, there's a contemporary group that's happening now, and I just mentioned one of them, Luke Holmes. Oh, Taylor Swift, of course, is having a wonderful year too. Sure. But uh, some of the newer ones, it's really hard for me to keep up with. Amazingly, even in this, uh, you know, uh, COVID time, because uh, they're doing a lot of streaming, a lot of radio, a mm -hmm. lot of television. Sure. And so consequently, there are a lot of names out there. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to wait, you know, five or six or seven years before we know who really is successful. All right, uh, Charlie, hang on. Year. We have to take a quick break so we can pay your salary, your, your appearance fee for being on the show here with us. So stick around. We'll continue our conversation with the mayor of Music Row, live from Nashville. More with Charlie Mock straight ahead.